Hello, hi everyone. Let us learn English. So, welcome to our class. Let me ask, do you like plants? Do you like to water the plants? Then tell me, what is the first stage of plant growth? Yes, you are right. The seed should be planted. Then fertilize and water well. And also the plant will grow well if there is enough sunlight. So children, today I will tell you a story of a boy who loved plants. You have to listen carefully. Okay. The Good Seed Once upon a time in China, there lived a king named Chang. King Chang was very old. He wanted to choose a good and honest king to the throne. How will I find such a person? said King Chang. Then he had an idea. On the first day of spring, King Chang called all the children in the kingdom to his palace. He gave each of them a special flower seed and said, Plant these seeds. Bring the plants to my palace next year. The person who can grow these seeds into the best flowers will become the next king. Dear children, who was King Chang? King Chang was a king in China. What did he want to do? He wanted to choose a good and honest king to the throne. Tell me children, what is a throne? Throne means royal seat. What did the king give to the children? The king gave a special flower seed to the children. Now, dear children, let us learn some new words. First one, honest. Spelling H-O-N-E-S-T Honest Second one Kingdom Spelling K-I-N-G-D-O-M Kingdom Third one Special Spelling S-P-E-C-I-A-L Special Fourth one Sprout Spelling S P R O U T Sprout Fifth one Empty Spelling E M P T Y Empty Sixth one Crowd Spelling C R O W D Crowd Seventh one Shouted Spelling S H O U T E D shouted. Children, here come synonyms. First one, sprout, spelling S P R O U T sprout. Sprout means begin to grow. Sprout means begin to grow. Second one, throne, spelling T H R O N E. Throne. Throne means royal seat. Throne means royal seat. Third one, kingdom. Spelling K I N G D O M. Kingdom. Kingdom means country. Let's read once again. Sprout means begin to grow. Throne means royal seat. Kingdom means country. Next, we can read antonyms. Old opposite, new. Old opposite, new. Second one, full opposite, empty. Full opposite, empty. Third one, beautiful. Beautiful opposite, ugly. Beautiful opposite, ugly. So children, let's see in the classroom. Until then. Bye.